All right, and welcome back to more Return to Danger. We are in floor 10. This is Professor Quark Blitz. And this map, uh, well, here is the silver key right away. It's um, kind of, if, you're, if, if you've never been here, I guess that can be kind of a pain to find. But, I mean, it's right there. Uh, so let's take a look around here. And we find ourselves in this this door leads to a secret that we can't push. We need to push it from the other side. This map, man, I gotta say, I mean, it has problems. And I don't think they are problems that are meant to be purposely annoying to the player. I just think that they didn't age very well. So right away, we find ourselves in this room that is... It's just uh, cluttered, cluttered, cluttered with uh, with stuff. It's just a whole lot of nothing in, in this room. The good news is uh, you cannot get lost in this maze. The bad news is you look over here and you find the gold key that you just can't get. No matter what, you can't get it. And we're going to see this gold key all over the place. Uh, there's, I think, four or maybe five of them in this in this maze thing yeah you can't pick up a single one of them so you need to get the gold key from the professor and you're gonna have uh, SS in the distance like uh, this guy here and that guy there And this guy way down there. I hate doing this because it wastes so much ammo, but we should be all right. And here's another one. My thoughts on this maze. I mean, like I said, I just... I look at all of the things that were done to this. The artwork was changed. The sounds were changed. Uh, quote unquote new bosses were made which would just fall under the art category but um, the thing I can't seem to bring myself to believe is that they're going to go through all this effort to change all this stuff make all these maps they're not the best maps but they're gonna go through it all just to screw the player over and that's why I think that it was just the old good idea at the time kind of thing. And we've all had those. We all have those, whether you'll admit it or not. We've all had good ideas at the time. Um, all we're doing here is we're just going to go in here. And we're going to clear out all these little rooms off to the side. And honestly, I don't hate all of the artwork in this. I think um, some of them is is a bit questionable as to why it is what it is. But uh, there is a sprite in this uh, uh, sprite, a uh, wall texture in this particular map that I gotta say it's my favorite. It's my favorite wall texture. I like the table, as I mentioned in a previous map. I, I even kind of like this stone wall. It's not that terrible. Uh, this blue, not really a fan. I mean, I guess uh, that's all I really wanted to say, is that, is it bad mapping? Well, yeah, it is. We have a secret right here. Now we got the rat, which of course indicates it. But here is a um, an undesirable feature in a lot of wolf maps. That is hiding essential things 
in a secret, and the boss is right over there, so I'm going to save him for a little bit. I want to clear out the rest first. Uh, let's go... Is this the room? Here it is. This is the room that I ha that has the wall texture that I really like. So let's just uh, get these guys here. Whoop. I don't recommend letting them come to the door because uh, with DOS, this is the kind of thing that uh, the enemies do disappear. So I suggest spraying them down, do some bowling here, and just get rid of them while they're at a distance. And here is the, the wall texture that I really like right here. This wall texture, I, I just, I have to admit, I really like this wall texture. It's just so cool. Um, some other wall textures, like the radio on the wall here, I like that. Uh, I like the table with the Bunsen burner, whatever that is. I think that's what it is, the flask, whatever you may call it. The treasures in this game... Ah, I just think they don't make sense. Uh, nothing really... Not that they're really bad to look at. Uh, it just doesn't make sense. But yeah, that I think is cool. Alright, so let's head on out. And I have one more room to clear. I would like to grab one more crate of ammo before I do this. Yeah, don't step too far over there until you're ready to fight the boss. So that'll be it for now. Probably should just get rid of the boss now, but uh, yeah, he can wait. It's not like he's going anywhere. All right, so let's go this one. Yeah, this one. I like that broken cage um, that's in there. I think what I'm trying to do here, um, I'm trying to, to, um, I'm getting tired of bashing this thing. I mean, it, it is pretty easy to bash, I'll, don't get me wrong, but um, I'm just trying to highlight some of the positives of it. And placing myself in their shoes at the time, because we don't know what, what was going on. Uh, maybe they were just going for a quick buck. It's very possible. But at the same time, I mean, another thing that may have been a factor, I mean, I don't know, but possibly, um, oof. Possibly they were under time constraints. That is uh, something that could have been a thing at the time. They had to get the maps made uh, at a, by a certain time. And map making, hey, it takes time. I mean, some people are naturally gifted at making these things, and that's awesome. But uh, even so, um, it takes time. It takes testing. It takes patience. And so maybe they felt rushed. For this particular map, I think they could have used a little more health scattered throughout, like uh, in the corners here of this room, maybe some more health. I need, I would like some health. Um, hmm. I don't think, it, I can try these little rooms. There is health in the area that's coming up. Possibly in the big maze, I, I could find a plate or two. The useless maze. Here's, a, here's some food, all right.
because the next area, I don't like the next area that we got to do here. I think it's, um, it's not very good. Um, we'll see that we'll see it shortly. All right, I think we've collected all the health we're gonna collect here. Oh, okay, never mind. I take it back. Okay, well, we're we're good on health now. Let's go. Um, oh, here's another little thing that happens. Take a look over here. Ah, uh, where the hell is it? I know it's in the corner. I think it's over here. Yeah, right here. So take a look. Get this guy's attention. And then we have this guy right here. Now, as we've seen in past maps, this has been happening a, a bit too frequently here. Um, you touch him, he won't come to life. Now he's deaf. As I mentioned, there's nothing wrong with deaf guards. I'd say they're the cornerstone of a good map. But uh, yeah, this, he won't come to life until you shoot him. This suggests a floor coating error. Um, it's beyond me though. What exactly is wrong with him? So let's go in here. Now this is the area I just, I think it's just, it's not good. We're gonna be going into a very deformed, um, uh, swastika. And we're going to see this pattern right here. Three SS behind objects that we cannot get through. And that, uh, man, I just can't, um, I, I can't, I can't uh, say that is a good idea. The objects were just traded out for each of these little rooms. So we have... We have barrels here. We got the broken cage here. Come on. It's not so much difficult. It's just a waste of ammo and it's just annoying. Fortunately, we do have ammo, uh, ammo crates within each of these rooms, but even still, this was not a good idea. In my opinion, of course. Um, so really all we're doing is going around in a square. That's all we're doing. Let's go over here, rinse and repeat. Now we have empty wells. It's, it can be really, really easy to die here because um, with them so cramped up and at such an odd angle, you, you just got to be super careful. Here we go again. Oh, that, I hate that. I'm expecting him to be up out here. Come on. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Ah, sheesh. Let's go. We're almost there. Ah, uh, there is ammo in the center of this thing. So if I need to, I can just dive in there. But, um... It's the principle, you know? All right, uh, we're almost there. Oh, man. 
That's what I mean. It's it's just super super easy to get shot. If they didn't put those ammo crates there, this would not be a good map at all. Uh, it, it just would have been way too unfair. Uh, high risk, very low reward. And even as it is, this is not, a, this is, um, it's a high risk and uh, a low reward anyway. I think we're done. Oh, there's the center. Yeah, I think we're done. All right, cool. Let's collect what we can in the middle here. Okay, cool. Um, let's go kill the boss. He's not really a difficult boss. He's just, um, it's annoying because he's got all this room to work with and we just have this one wall to, to help us. And so, yeah, um, here he comes. Come on, dude. Oh. It's really just doing a dance around this stone thing. That's all it is. Oof. Come on. He's got to be almost dead. Come on. Move, holy crap. He's a little odd uh, with how he moves. It's like, because you're anticipating him to appear. You're anticipating him to appear on one side and he shows up on the other. It's it's just, um, again, it's not hard. It's just annoying. That's all. Okay, cool. Um, our score should be 300-600. So, uh, I, is there a guy coming out of here or possibly I missed a treasure? Let's see. There it is. All right. Alright, we're ready to get out of here. I figured it wasn't too far. I mean, I know where, you know, I know the map. It's just, uh, <laughs> kind of a, it's just DOS, you know, you don't pick up something. Alright, well, that's Floor 10 and uh, some different thoughts on uh, this game. Alright, and we'll see you next time. Hey, all right, so I reviewed my level 10 video and I came across a very interesting anomaly and I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm going to share a couple of things with you guys. Now take a look here. Um, we're going to jump to 1733 approximately and what I want you to do is just watch what happens. Watch what happens as we as I do this. Now I was not thinking of this at all, right? 
I was just making my video, going on about it, whatever, nothing strange here. Now, take a look as we get closer and closer to 1733. What happens? And I have no explanation for this. I just think it's a curiosity thing. I think it's interesting. So here I go, doing a little dance around the purple wall. And okay, so what just happened? We need to go frame by frame here to see what happened here. Um, no explanation. <laughs> I have no explanation for this, but going frame by frame, let's take go back. Let's go back. Just uh, let's go back to this. Okay, so once I get to 1733. We're going to go over here. Okay, now we got to go frame by frame here. Go back. Uh, oh, okay. Go back. Take a look at the ammo crates. Now, we know that ammo crates give us 25 bullets a box, right? 25 bullets a box. We've collected an unknown amount of ammo crates by now. We, we know how it goes with DOS and, you know, with Wolf 3D just in general. So by collecting, I'm trying to get, I have five ammo, right? So I want to get more ammo. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to pick up two crates of ammo. So that should bring me, it should make my ammo count jump up to 55. So frame by frame, here we go. Watch this. There's the crate. There's three crates. Here I go. Okay, right here, presumably we're on the crate. We picked it up, right? There's no flash. Usually when you pick something up, there's a yellow flash. And one more frame. Look at my ammo count, 35. Why does it say 35? That I don't get because picking up one ammo crate should make the number say 30. And it does. Watch this. One more frame later, or maybe two more frames, two more frames later, now there's a flash and it says 30. What is going on here? I, I, I have no explanation for this. Maybe somebody super smart out there knows what happened. But um, yeah, it's, it's just uh, my guess, my uneducated guess on this, well, and it doesn't hold any water, by the way, because I'm going to prove it a little bit later in just a moment, is that the reason it says 35 right here is that because I had five ammo, collecting the box, it just takes a frame for it to catch up to itself. So it's that five is covering up the zero. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to go up again and we collect that box. And so now it says 30, but that doesn't explain why it doesn't say 50. If I collected two crates of ammo, it should say 50. Now watch this. Even more curious. Watch this. Okay. We got to go slow again. It's only for one frame that you see it, but watch this. Come on. Oh, 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 okay. We got to go slow here. Is this it? Yeah, right here. Take a look at this. This single frame shows us an ammo crate in the far corner. That ammo crate was the one that I thought I grabbed. So I didn't grab that crate. What is going on here? So, ah. Uh, I am just, I'm lost. I don't know why. And we take a look here. I kill the guy. Oh, there. We don't even have to kill the guy. Take a look. We got two crates. So it doesn't explain why it says 30. It doesn't explain why I, th I thought it, I grabbed the other crate, and I guess I didn't. But if we rewind a bit... Rewind a bit. Let's see. Where the heck is it? I just want to show. Here it is, right here. 
Okay, we're gonna go. I want to collect some more ammo for this upcoming fight, so I go in here. Because I wanted to test out if that is true, that it could possibly uh, cover up my number. Right here I have 42 ammo. Collecting 25 more should give me, what, uh, 67? So if that's true, that that second digit covers it up, it should say 62 for just that frame. If it's true, which, as we're about to see, go up, go up, go up. And frame by frame, there it is. There's the flash, as expected. All right, 67, actually, it says 67 before the flash even happens. So there is that frame of a moment that we don't even get a flash. But it says 67, not 62. So that first thing is still a mystery. There it is, 67. Flash. And then I go and I collect this one. Okay, there we go. 92. Still no flash. So there is that moment of no flash, which is fine. But there's just that unexplainable thing. Ah, man, I just think it's interesting. Uh, <laughs> is it, is it, it's not really a, a problem. It's kind of silly. But yeah, I just, uh, I just wanted to share that. But also another thing I wanted to share is um, the whole death guard thing. There I go. I collect it. 92 ammo. The whole death guard thing. Take a look at this. We are looking at... We're looking at Chaos Edit, and what we want to do is focus on the lower right. Now, those two guards down there, that's an officer in pink, and that's SS in the light blue. You can see the little X there. That is, um, that is, uh, that indicates that they are deaf. And so, being deaf, they're not going to come out. As we're in the larger area, we fire our gun, they're not going to come to life until they see us. As you saw in my video, uh, taking a peek in there, the the uh, officer does come to life. He comes to life just fine. But the SS, he just sits in there. Again, what is going on? I, I just, um, we see this. We see it a few times as, as guards just don't want to move. But the floor coating is just fine. Take a look. We are all, all this, um... It is 1106E. And it follows just fine right here. There's no, there's no, uh, I don't think you can see my cursor, but uh, I'm on those two little guards there. They should come to life. They should both come to life just fine. But uh, yeah, it's beyond me why they don't, why the SS doesn't move. All right, so that's all I wanted to do. Just give a quick little. Uh, well, it went off for almost 10 minutes, but um, yeah. Thanks for uh, watching for the last 10 minutes here. It's it, I, Like I said, I just think it's, it's interesting more than annoying. And I'm really glad I'm going back into RTD with this mindset um, of, of really trying to um, understand it. All right, so thanks. And we'll see you guys next time.